Today I'm going to read for you the second prophecy and after that I'm going to do a little commentary and the commentary is very important this is when I'm going to reveal a certain things and stay tuned for it because and this is where you are going to receive practically from the Lord you know the things that you should be aware of the title of the second prophecy 2020 global financial crisis and this is a prophecy that i did give you a hint of it already your new moon festivals and your appointed feasts my soul hates they have become a burden to me I am weary of bearing them when you spread out your hands in prayer I will hide my eyes from you even if you offer many prayers I will not listen your hands are full of blood wash and make yourselves clean Take your evil deeds out of my sight. I reared children and brought them up, but they have rebelled against me. The ox knows his master. The donkey, his owner's manger. But Israel does not know. My people do not understand. You have become a sinful nation. A people loaded with guilt, a brood of evil doer, children given to corruption. You have forsaken the only one of Israel and turned your backs on him. Why should I spare you from this global financial crisis? I will cause the nation who have supported you to be in such trouble that you will be left on your own to face this calamity. Your whole head is injured, your whole heart afflicted. From the sole of your foot to the top of your head, there is no soundness, only wounds and welts and open sores, not cleanse or bandage or suited with oil. Your corrupt leaders have led you to this place of your destruction. Come now, let us settle the matter. Stop doing wrong and learn to do right. Seek justice, encourage your oppressed, defend the cause of the fatherless, Please the plead the cause of the widow. Repent and I will let you live. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the best from the land. But if you resist and rebel, you will devour by the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. So, the key word in this prophecy, the Lord is saying on to us, why should I spare you from this global financial crisis? And he was able to point out these countries that will be in recession in 2020 and he said look for china india G germany israel and many developing countries and i know Haiti is right in there and you will hear so many things going on such as trade war and 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 uh, and we heard it already and and he said 
de what will happen, this will reshape supply and the chains of supply and uh, that will cause a, a practically a little recession in the manufacturing sector. So you imagine you are a manufacturer and you have stuff if uh, you, have, you have your warehouse filled of stuff and, but you cannot sell them, you know, because of the trade war. It will cost you more money, practically, you, you practically losing money all the time. And, uh, you know, to send your, your products to another country, you have, it costs you a little more. So that shrink your bottom line and some a, a manufacturer they will have to file for bankruptcy. And you will hear a lot of bankruptcies. And uh, they said, you know, you will hear also a slow growth. And uh, as, you know, Jesus explained it, a slow growth rate, that means, you know, in, instead of seeing, especially in America, that, you know, that the country is practically progressing. Although a lot of people right now, they have jobs, but you know, they have to do, they have to do a couple of jobs really to pay their bills. And really, you know, we are not growing financially. And uh, you will see also a slow in business investment because you know, when a businessman or a businesswoman you know, they open a business and really they cannot sell, they cannot make a profit that will cause them not to invest that much in their business. And that will cause a slow productivity. And, uh, and he said that will cause a volatility, a uncertainty in the market itself. And, uh, and already we know there is a new alliance because of the trade war that we started uh, with uh, China and all that. So we see alliance being formed from the Asian countries with Europe, you know, and said, you know what, the best way to sell our stuff, let's align with Europe now. So that will cause a serious deficit for America also and like i said last year you know i give you an idea of how you know the farmers will be in fact impacted uh, you know and we will see also a slowdown in the housing sales that's mean you know people you know it's already hard for them to even qualify to buy anything in america and uh, you know and with the manufacturing has many problems uh, getting the cheap stuff from either China or other countries. So it's going to be very, they will have, you will see the, the market grow a little bit, but nobody has enough money, you know, to buy them. You know, you see a, a 200,000 house is like 300,000 and when you cannot even qualify for the 200 so they will have a little problem there so you you will see like i said to you recession in germany and, and a little bit problem with uk but india has this is a developing country that we should india and china that we should be aware of because you know they were developing, they have a lot, they had a lot of money, but suddenly, you know, now because of the trade war, because of what is going on right now, it's a big problem with them. When we look at this prophecy, the Lord is talking mostly about wicked Israel. And uh, when we say wicked Israel, we are a part of it also because we are, as Christians, we are part of the common wealth of Israel. The Lord said, I don't take pleasure. I don't take pleasure in the feast anymore because you know your hands are full of blood. So we know there are bloodshed going on in Israel and the Lord is aware of it. 
And the Lord said, you know, I real children. And then, you know, and now they are, they are rebellious. They, they don't even acknowledge me. They become uh, a, a, a people full of guilt, a brood of evildoers, children given to corruption. Now we see, even in America, corruption is like in full display. Good is uh, considered, a, a bad It's considered good. And the people, like the prophecy said, if you do good, you become a prey. And, uh, and this is pretty bad. And the Lord, the Lord is saying at the end of the prophecy that, that will lead to, and I don't want to give a title, the title of it, that will lead to us not being qualified to live even in in the land where we are living that god can practically erase us from the face of the earth because we do not seek justice anymore we don't we 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 oppression is everywhere we do not defend the cause of the fatherless we don't plead the cause of the widow people that are in trouble instead of helping them we want to crush them and put more load upon them god is not he, he, he practically proud of that and and the lord said the only way you know he will not allow us because you know money solve all things all things can be solved by money and when you have a financial crisis that means there are certain things that you will not be able to afford certain problem that you will face yeah that you will not be able to resolve them but god the lord is saying unto us if we are willing to obey him and if we are actually obedient he will allow us to be blessed in the midst of this financial crisis i say these things in jesus name amen